Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we'll call this a 5J1113 video short. Just gonna answer, well, a question that came up a lot in the comment section below the last video when I put the water pump on the front and the fan belt and everything. And a lot of people were wondering what this second groove was for in the crank pulley because the water pump only utilizes the outer one. That second groove is for an optional generator. Now, 1113 didn't have a generator or generator bracket on it. It didn't have any other indicators of ever having like a battery box on a fender, any wiring. Um, oftentimes they would mount a regulator on some of these uh, bolts right here. None of that was ever intact. It doesn't look like anything was ever in place um, before we got it. Now, I do have, closest I've ever came to a D3400 generator is a generator bracket. That's what this is right here. And it utilizes those four bolt holes right there and would attach in like that. Comes very close to the front cover and then is right in line with that second pulley flange to, uh, or second uh, uh, belt groove, I should say, in a crank pulley to power a generator pulley, which would be right in this area right here. Let's take a quick look at the parts manual. And even though, even the early 5J production series had a lot of different electrical options. Um, but you can see right here, that's the bracket I just showed you. That's that band that just kind of cradles the generator in there, pulley with the belt, everything. But it's amazing the different electrical options they had for these D2s back in the day. Like I said, there's, there's about a good dozen pages of different generators, different outputs, different amperage ratings, different configurations, different regulator stuff for use with battery, for use without battery, and it just goes on and on and on. We're still looking at ger generator options. Here's finally the end of it. We finally start getting into battery box, but with that many different generator options, electrical setups, it's, <laughs> it's funny how it seems to be so hard to find the D3400 generators now. I'm sure there's still some out there. I'm just saying in all my travels, I've never been able to cross paths with one. Of course, these were in some pretty harsh operating environments, and I'm sure that really took its toll on a lot of a lot of that electrical stuff. Ugh, sorry, um, I usually don't have too much trouble finding those brackets, uh, but usually by the time I find a generator bracket, there's nothing left in it anyway. So I've sold a few of them over the years. I still got a couple here. Maybe someday I'll find a generator put on D3400, but I'm really not holding my breath. So that's the reason why there's that second belt groove on that crank pulley. That's the reason why I could just throw the fan belt on the outer one. Don't have to worry about taking it back off because there's nothing else that's got to go behind it anyway, at least not on 1113. So I hope that answers everybody's questions. And as always, thanks for watching.